can I help you today? You're looking for a present? For a birthday? That's so nice. Um, I'm sure we can find you something great. Yeah, it's no problem. Uh, do you happen to know the age? Oh, that's such a fun age. Yeah. Uh, I think we definitely have something that would work. Um, if you'll give me just a moment, I can show you a couple of my favorites. Sure. Let me see. Um, I have a couple things up here at the counter that I just love right now. Um, let's see. This one, definitely. And, um, where did I put that? Oh, there we go. Here we go. Okay. So I have a couple ideas. Um, and they're good for... Uh, the age group that you're talking about, but they're also good um, because they're sort of fun for all ages as they grow up, so yeah. Um, so first of all, I'm going to show you something sort of special that we have. It's more unique. Um, so this is our animal in the stars set and I think that this is a really really fun gift um the animals in the stars kit is a set of lacing cards yeah so lacing cards are um like connect the dots mm -hmm. except you use these little laces um right over here and you lace them through and then create these little pictures mm -hmm. so it's really fun you can see this one is 10 constellations and they are all um, animal themed right so you get uh, 10 different mini projects and they all have different animals of the zodiac so you can see glow in the dark constellation lacing cards lace the stars together to form 10 familiar animal constellations then turn out the lights to reveal the glow in the dark animal formed by the star Perfect for developing hand-eye coordination and fine motor skills. These durable cards are equally suited for play and display. So what's fun about that is for younger children, oops, sorry. For younger children, there's the chance to develop those motor skills that are so important and then as they get older there's a chance to learn about astronomy astrology mythology and even the art a little bit also like it says these are special because after you connect the dots the stars um, you get to light them up when you turn the lights out the little string laces are all coated in glow-in-the-dark uh, paint it's very light it won't it's non-toxic but um, that way when you have the lights off like in a child's bedroom um, the stars, the constellations light up at night, so it can be really fun. Um, it gives them something to sort of display afterward and be really proud of, so. Yeah, we can look a little bit closer. Um, like I said, 
they're all animal constellations and so you can see there's Leo the lion right there there's Canis Major the hunting dog one of Orion's hunting dogs you can see his little snout goes down to his tail and his legs and there's a Pegasus, everyone's favorite. And what's fun is that I've noticed that um, children who use these really do take an interest then in trying to look up at the night sky and identify the constellations that they've worked on. So, I'll show you the inside. kind of see um, the size of the cards. Again, this one here is Leo. And everyone loves Leo, the lion. You can see all the points, starting with Regulus, the star. Then you can see where you would trace together and put all of the little laces through to complete the full constellation. And you can see these are what the laces look like. just come bundled up and like I said you can kind of feel they're just a tiny tiny bit um, not sticky but you can feel that there's that um, glow-in-the-dark coating So it really adds something kind of special, I think. The kids just love it, so. And these are all, they're basically just like little shoelaces. You can see they're little capped ends. And the nice thing about this is, as opposed to some craft projects, you can really reuse the, um, the cards and the laces um, because you just pull them out and you can redo each card as many times as you want to and of course there's no mess created so anyway so that's kind of what the little the little laces are they're very soft and safe And I'll just take out, again, just so you can kind of get a sense of the size of the cards. Set that there. So, you can see um, the width of the cards. So they're all relatively thick, so they're nice and sturdy. You can just barely see the outline of the lion. His little paws and the little swirls that make up his mane. But when you turn the lights out, um, he'll be nice and bright. So, kind of a beacon. So. And then you'll also see one thing that's really neat on the educational end is that 
And there's little legends for each constellation right here on the back. Um, so this one is for Ursa Minor. And, um, that's the little bear. Ursa Minor, the little bear, was placed in the sky by Zeus, king of the Greek gods, close by its mother, Ursa Major, the big bear. Constellation is also known as the Little Dipper because it forms a shape like a water dipper or ladle. At the end of the bear's long tail, or the dipper's handle, is Polaris, the North Star. Travelers use the bright star as a guide. When they face the star, they know that they are headed north. So you get these really neat little um, tidbits, and so it's a fun introduction to the stars. You think that they would like this? Sure. Um, it's been very, very popular, um, and it's one of those things that, again, is just a little bit special. So let's put this one off to the side, okay? Put it back together for you. Let this go in here. Back in its little tray. So slide it back. So that's the animals and the stars constellation using cards. So we'll just set that off to the side for one moment. And then the other thing I was going to show you is a little bit more traditional. Um, this is our set of six finger puppets. Um, yeah. Finger puppets are really fun for everyone, and um, it's something, again, that uh, kids can play with at a lot of different ages and enjoy. These ones are good for ages 8 and up, so you'll be good on that front. And the set includes the elephant, lion, duck, teddy bear, sea lion, and giraffe. So, they're all sort of whimsical. Um, the sea lion has his little ball to play with, balanced on his nose. And there's the giraffe, he's got like a little collar on. The elephant has a crown. Um, and the lion is really goofy um, with a little pink tongue and the bear has like a clown gesture outfit on and then there's um, the duck who is just very festive <laughs> so um, yeah I can pop it open for you so you can kind of see my favorite thing about this set is the level of quality so it's these are really beautiful handmade puppets. Yeah, so let me pop it open for you. Be really careful here so that the box is pristine. There we go. Okay, so let's take some of them out to see, okay? So the first one is the bear. And he's so soft. You can kind of see he's just very soft and fluffy. And he's got these little um, pom-poms on his hat. And I think it's so cute. So. 
and welcome to just feel. Yeah, they're so soft, aren't they? Yeah. Thanks. So they're, um, but they're also really, really, like I said, well made. Um, the stitching is all the highest quality, um, and the, um, all of the trimmings are really, really creamy. And they're really safely sewn on, fully attached, so they're not going to come off and become, like, choking hazards. So that's the bear. Yes, both these presents would be very appropriate for an animal lover, that's for sure. So, okay, this one is so funny. Um, he's the duck. And he's got this fabulous little collar with all of these different colors. So he's very plush. And again, he has a little pom-pom just on the top of his head. And his little beak. <laughs> so cute. Um, and you can see... He fits right on your finger. So, really, really, really cute good friends, of course, with the bear. It's fun to kind of see them together, too, because um, they have really complementary colors. It's very, like I said, very festive. So. And then, let's see, um, the rest are the seal. He's one of my favorites. Or the sea lion, I guess you would say. Um, he has this, such a cute little ball balanced right on his nose. And then he has these adorable little whiskers, which I think are just so cute. His little whiskers sticking up. So, he's a cutie. Um, the rest of So the, um, the elephant, who has like a little a tutu made of tulle. The um, giraffe, and the giraffe has little ossicles. Ossicon is the name for the, um, the little cartilage. Um, like horn things they have up top. And he has these horns. And, of course, the king of the jungle. And like I said, he has this cute little um, tongue sticking out. So, he's pretty funny. So, anyway. They're all very, very cute together. And like I said, you can kind of see they're so, um, they're so colorful when you look at them all together. So they're really fun. Um, and one thing is, um, as the kids get older, um, when they're young, they like to kind of play with them alone and, and sort of like uh, little figurines, um, play make-believe. But as they grow up a little, um, sometimes kids get really into the um, performance element. And they want to create puppet shows and invite you to watch. So it can be really good for their development, and especially kids who might be shy. Um, it can teach them to love performing. So, and storytelling, of course. So, yeah. I just love these little guys. So, pack them back up together. Do either of those seem like, um, a present that you might like to give? 
You want to just do them both? I think that would be perfect. I think that together they go really well since they both are animal themed. Perfect. Do you need any um, wrapping paper or extra little goodies to go along with the gift? Yeah, I have some wrapping paper samples here. Um, we have some uh, more traditional birthday ones. Um, and then some that are more like, um, this one is kind of more nature. Um, did you have kind of an idea if you wanted something really festive for birthdays or more birthday specific? Okay, so there's this one. Um, this one has like presents, lots of confetti, so that could be an option. Um, let's see. We have, um, this one is a little, uh, this one's really fun, actually. This one, um, is like a teddy bear birthday. So, um, some, like, little balloons, jack-in-the-box, that kind of thing. So that's kind of cute. Um, let's see, what else? A pink birthday present. Oh, this one's kind of nice. This is like a very, kind of reminds me of Rainbow Bright, if you remember. Um, so just very, like, balloons and rainbows and things like that. Yeah, I think it's really pretty. Um, so we have the teddy bears, the rainbows, the little birthday presents, and what else? There's a lot more, um, teddy bear ones. I mean, this one is really cute. Um, this one is, it says, happy birthday, um, smile, party, hooray, and it's just got little, uh, bears, um, that are <laughs> in, like, little hot air balloon baskets. Um, and birds and things like that falling from the sky, so this one's really cute. You like this one? Okay. Yeah, I think it would be a really good choice. Um, okay, so I can go ahead and, um, include some of this for you. Oh, it's no cost. It's just, um, just something we do for birthdays. Mm-hmm. Um, and let me just make sure I've got a good amount of it for you. I know there are, let's see, you already saw the bear one. I just want to make sure you get your full choice. There's also, um, let me grab, just so you see them all. There's also this one, and it's got, like, bears and trains. Um, and little chicks and stuff, so. I used to like the, um, parachuting bears. Okay. So, we'll get that one for you. And I can put those all together in a bag. So give me just a second, we'll get you all rung up. to um, the Animals and the Stars card, okay, and then the set of six finger puppets, so I find that it can be really fun to add um, little toys to the wrapping, um, so you can take these finger traps if you want um, and wrap them with ribbons and attach them to the package. Yeah, they're really fun. Um, there's 
as big as the next time and then you can kind of pull and it gets stuck so oh yeah the kids really enjoy them um so we have them in um all these colors so there's like um, a teal or a navy color there's like a blue um, actually, this is more of a, like an ocean purple blue. There's a pink. And then also have more of like a royal blue. Yeah, you can just put them all in. Um, and you can try um, just attaching them to the packages. They can be really fun favors for some of the other children as well. Sure. So we'll just include some of those for you too, okay? Okay. Okay, so, um, just to ring it up, we had the, uh, set of six finger puppets. And the, um, Animals in the Stars Constellation Kit. And, um, we do have a discount, uh, for people who are rewards members. If you wanted to become a rewards member of the store, I could apply the discount today. Is that something you'd be interested in? Okay. All I need is, um, either a phone number or a zip code. Okay. Mm-hmm. And an email address, if you don't mind. Can you go ahead and just spell that for me, just to be sure? Okay. Okay. And that's at Gmail. Okay, perfect. Um, and that is, is that going to make me do it for you today? Okay. Uh, with the card? Sure. Uh, I have to just enter the number in. Our swiper is down. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. Okay. And then the code on the back. Okay, great. There you go. Okay. And you print up your receipt. Okay. And do you want your receipt with you, or can I just put it in a bag? In the bag? Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. I really hope uh, that the present is enjoyable. If not, you have the receipt and you can bring it back anytime within the next 90 days, okay? Great. Uh, well, I hope it's a great birthday and thank you so much for coming in. Okay, bye-bye.